Good morning, everyone. This is Seiko. It is the second class of January 2022. It is a lower body uh, shredding. All right. And I got the 10 pounds weight, just a single one uh, on the side. And as usual, we're going to start with the squat. But, you know, part of the warm up. All right. Stand tall. Your feet about shoulder width. All right. And join your navel. Good. And kind of lift the whole thing right here. You know, just the uh, entrance of the stomach right here. Right. The, just the lift a little bit. You feel it? Good. And squeeze your glute. Shoulders. Make sure your chest is up. You don't want to have squat with round back. Good. And keep the long neck. All right. Good. Whew. I hear all the cracking. <laughs> all right. Good. And drop and chest is up. Keep that all tight and go down and up. When you go down, you don't want to go too quick. You want to feel your glute stretching down here, right? And make sure your knees, toes, same directions. And don't squeeze, don't, you know, tighten up your toes. All the, you know, fingers on the toes, relax. Good. Then you sure make sure your weight's on your heels. And when you go up, press the floor. And don't forget your tummy area, right? Lifted. Shoulders, good. Multitasking, you got so many points, right? So many areas you have to pay attention to do the right squats. And as you know, I'm focusing on my glute, right? I wanted to make or keep my glute nice and firm and round. So you, in order to work on your glute, you don't want to focus just the speed, right? So focus on you, the feeling on your glute. Good. I'm talking too much, okay? <laughs> Four more. Four. And up. Squeeze. Three. Exhale. Up. Two. Up. Last one. Hold, yes, hold, and squeeze your glute right there. All right, check everything. Weights on your heels, extend your arms, shoulders are not up, instead, down, good. And up and down, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Squeeze your glute, feel it, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and drop again and open your arms. Good. Chest is up and pull down your shoulder blades and bring your arms up and side. Up, especially when you bring your arms on the top of your head, pull down your shoulder blades in the back. Good. Four more. Three, oh, two, last one, and palms up and stand. Good. And just a little, you know, no weight. Bring your hands about 45 degrees and elbows to the side and above. Good. Down. Okay, add the squat. Squat and pull out and pull down. Inhale, exhale. Bring your elbows kind of straight line from the hands. Good. Squeeze your back. Even I wanted to focus on the lower body today. I'm going to give a little bit. Focus on attention to the upper body. Shoulders down. Four more. Yes. Three. 
two, join, last one, good, and again, eight, seven, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your feet, five, four, three, two, one, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back, shake, 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 drink water as often as you can, all right, you don't want to be too dry. Very good. Oh. Ah. All right, so stand tall, open your toes. Yes, I want to work right here. Good. And join your navel from the side, you're straight. You don't want to stick out. You don't want to breathe here. Nice and straight, good. And keep your heels together and lift both heels. Yes, you may lose the balance, almost fall towards uh, front, right? But keep your core nice and tight. Same time, your glute squeezing right now towards the center, right? Good, shoulders down. Woo. You feel the inner thighs and your carbs, everything. Don't stick out your belly button as you lift. Instead, pull in, draw in. Close your rib cage and lift. Good. Whew. Good. Then, meanwhile, your hands are kind of free. Keep moving up and down, right? And you massage on the side. Whew. Good. If you have some you know, round, hunching back. You may feel a little soreness. Good. Massage. Good, keep going. It's a simple movement, so you can do other movement, right? Upper, upper body, good. And you go side and back, cross up. Yep. I start doing a little more, uh, not just, you know, hard, hard, hard. I realize you gotta drain the toxins, all the stuff that are toxins you take, it turns into the, turns out to be uh, fat. So, and you also need to drain the liquid around the body, which is limp. Right? So I switch the hands. Good. And four more. Three. Yes, your legs are tired. Two. Last one and keep holding your heels. And now you're pinching right here around your little poochies. You know, I think everyone has. I do too. I can pinch good amount. And this area is so stubborn, they don't want to disappear. Yeah, they may have a, you know, mission to protect your organs, right? That's why females have more fat, all right? But we want to minimize it. Okay, so put your four fingers here and press. Good, and pushing in towards the pelvics right here. You, you feel that, you know, your hip bones here and bring your four fingers in and press in. Same time, draw in. Meanwhile, your heels are up still, good. Good. Then from here, you bend a little bit. If it's too much, bring your heels down and do the moment. Four more, draw in. Three, doing great. Two, last one, and back. Oh, this area is so hard for me. Okay, good. And lift your leg. Keep your toes pointing. No more opening, right? Straight forward. And keep the center weights. And keep your pressure on your pelvics. Again, right? And lift your leg. 
and you're gonna feel the movement from the hips. So hip abductions movement, right? Open your legs to the sides. Uh, trigger your upper hips, upper side. Good. Join your navel. Keep the good balance from the core. Good. And let's bring your four fingers around the groins area. In Japanese, sokebu, right? But keep your toes front, not this, right? Front. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. The other side. Keep the groin area pressured. Good. Now we, we massage, keep massaging. Whew. It's easier, right? Join your navel, don't stick out your stomach. Don't bring your toes up. Keep the straight forward. So you can't really lift really high. Good. Good. Exhale. Give me four more. Four, three, two. Okay. Last one. Good. Shake your legs. Oh my, grab the one dumbbell finally. <sighs> okay, so keep it one arm, keep it with one hand. Your feet about shoulder, uh, shoulder width and no, this side, opposite side, lift your heel. Good. Then going down. So from the side view here in your dumbbells above, front of the thigh and go down and back up. So since your other heel is up, most of the weight goes to your left side. Exhale up, go down. Stick out your tailbones and back up and join out. So you're working on your hamstrings and the glutes. Hamstrings are really important to train because they are holding your butt, right? If this legs, hamstrings weak, may not be able to support your glutes in the right place. If anybody wants to have a pancake butt, you don't have to worry about it. But if you want something 3D round, peachy butt, glute behind, train together. Good. Now bring your dumbbell a little bit farther out and stick out your bottoms really farther and back up. Loosen up a little bit on your knees. Good. Give me four more. You feel the good stretch and squeeze. So muscles need to stretch and flex. Two more drawing. Make, make sure your back, back side, upper back, flat, no round. Good. Switch side. The other leg, heels up. First, start with the closer and go all the way down, close to your ankle. Ooh, good. Shoulders square as much as possible. Since my other leg is up inside, move slightly up, right? But it's okay. Stick out your glute. Then squeeze up. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, you feel it, all the hamstrings and your glute. Weights on your heel. Draw in, good. Give me two more. Last one. 
And now we're gonna move the dumbbells a little farther out and try to push the hips a little farther out to keep the balance and up. More stretch, stick out your back, nice and flat. Rather go little curb, natural curb, instead of punching, this is not good. So your eyes should be on the floor, away from your toes. You don't have to look up. Give me four more. Oh. Three. I promise you, after this, we're gonna go down to the floor. Yes. And back. Good job, everyone. Okay, what's this? Something. Clams. Okay. Yes. Drink water. Okay. Go down. Ah. Oh. Let's do the drawing. <coughs> I wanted to keep it, keep the drawing as much as possible uh, on every, every class. Because we don't want to have too much crunch, crunch, crunch only. You know, we want to balance. So, all right. <laughs> Your feet about hip width, right? And knees open. Squeeze your glute, flatten your back. Good, and inhale. Exhale, draw in your navel as low as possible, squeezing your glute at the same time. Good, and back. Inhale, exhale, go in deep, deep. So you flatten and you make it really have a dip here and back. Exhale, everything. Draw your navel underneath and push it up towards the bottom of the stomach. So your navel up and go down and a little bit up and hold and back. Okay, let's hold 10 seconds. Inhale. Exhale, pushing down, pushing down. Then you're gonna breathe shallow with only your lungs. Don't use the belly, good. One, two, three. Lock here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. Woo. You focus here, okay? And just keep breathing shallow so you don't pass out. Ready? Inhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Down, 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 and lock. And shallow breathe. Two, three. Don't unlock here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and release. One more time. Stay with me, you can do it. Inhale, flatten your lower back and draw in, squeeze your back gate right here and go down and a little bit up and lock it. One, two, three, don't hold the breath. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten and back. Hug your knees. Good. And extend your legs. Good. So easily you can, you know, create the arch. Press down. Good. And bring and flex your feet, uh, ankles, and bring your right heel on the left toe. And keep the flat back. Good and lift your shoulders. You can't really go high, I don't think. If you can, go ahead, but I can't. But I'm trying to clear at least the shoulder blades up and chin's not squeezing to the chest. Have a little space here, a little distance. 
since your one leg is on the other side, you feel a little stretch here, right? Good. And go up and hold and twist to the left. Two. Drawing your navel. Three. Four. Keep it flat. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Ah. Relax your neck and switch sides. So your right leg is straight out from the hips. Then your left heel on the right toes. So now your left side obliques a little bit stretched. Good. Inhale, exhale, press down and lift. When you lift, join your navel even further. You can do it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight and hold. Both shoulder braids are up and twist. One. Two. Three. Keep it up. Four. Four more, three, two, last one, back and down. Whew. Yeah, very good. Okay, so down here, all right, and relax right here and open your feet about the hip width. Good. And squeeze your glute. Your both buns squeezing each other. Good. And lift your knees or above knees even. Good. One and two. Your toes are facing down. Three and four. Four more. Squeeze. Keep squeezing, three, two, last one and hold. Whew. Keep your knees up and bring your heels to the buns. But I mean, whoa, you don't drop it. Keep it up Whew. and bring your uh, heels together. Open your toes and tap, 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 tap. One, two, three, four, five. Eight and down. Ooh. Take a little break. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, back here. Lift again and open your toes. Well, not open your toes. Detach your heels and straight out. Extend your legs, but don't drop your thighs and knees up and back and out. When you do that, you feel the stretch on your hamstrings. Good. And same time, you go squeeze your glute. Good. Eight. Seven. Keep your knees up. Six. You can do it. Only five more. Five. And four. Three. And two. Last one and hold. Straight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Ah. Oh, that's a work. Okay, so let's go to the side. We're going to work on the side. We have a little couple minutes, right? So we're not going to do long series because I have to do right and left. All right. So your knees about 45 degrees forward and a bend. Yes, you know what I'm doing. Crumb shells. Down. Open your knees. 
Don't open your hips, right? So your knees uh, go as high as you can and you feel the resistance at the top. When you're doing really loose, you don't feel anything. But you're on the right positions, which your lower obliques kind of tighten up. So it's not relaxing here. And your hips are vertical, straight up, right square. Your hips are square to the front and bring your knees open and squeeze right there. This is simple, looks easy, but if you do it correctly, it works. Good, and like I would say, upper hips area, we wanted to build muscle. So make it 3D roundish booties. Good, draw your navel as you open your knees. Good. All right, last one. Keep that diamond shape and bring your feet up and bring your knees down and same movement. Just your feet are up. Good. Just don't open your hips, right? If you wanna add resistance, go ahead to use the dumbbell on here. I'm trying. Good. Oh yeah, 10 pounds. But don't help with your hips movement. Hips are like somebody put the sticks from the bottom uh, top to the floor. You don't move your hips. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. And drop your weight. Good. Then you want to stretch your hips. So bring your knee down in front as far as you can from the hips. Closer in front of my stomach. Good. All right. Then tap with toe. Try to get in same spot. It's probably really hard. Just as close as possible. Good. Four more. Three, two, last one. And last movement. One, down, two, tap. Three, four, only four more. Four, three, two, last one, and down. Ooh, good job. The other side quickly. All right, turn around. Yes, 45 degrees. It's not here, right here. Good. And down, up. So we don't want to have asymmetry hips, right? So we're going to work both evenly as much as possible. So you focus on the hips. It's a hip abduction movement, right? You can do the machine at the gym. If you go to the machine, you know, those thing with the pads on the both side and you open your legs. If you do that machine, if you go to the gym or drain your navel, make sure you incline or bend forward your upper body from the hips. Make sure you don't round your back. In that position, you can work on the upper hips. If you're sitting straight up, it only works on the outer thighs. So if you wanna work on the outer thighs, that's okay. But if you wanna work on your hips, you might try that lean forward. Good, give me four more. That's one of my favorite machine to work on my booties. Last one, keep that, you feel good resistance. Yes, you can start with the dumbbells for any time. Up, Ooh. two, three. I like this, four and five. Six, seven, I like so much. Give me four more, four. Happy New Year, three, two. Draw in your navel, same time. Don't forget, right here, good, all right. Now I don't need the weight, good. 
And from here, tuck, you feel good stretch and tuck with the toes. One, to open your hips, especially when you try to touch with your toes, keep that straight. Good. Four more. Three, two, last one. Both feet up and straight and back. Flex, stretch, flex, stretch, flex, stretch. Four more. Three, two, last one and down. Whew. As I promised, it's done. That's it. Good job, everyone. Hug your knees, extend your legs, shake, 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 kick your booties. Good. Whew. Put your soles together, open your knees, grab the toes, pull in. Good. All right, and start swing a little bit. Bring your left leg down, right leg up. Hold your ankles, ankle with both hands, pointing toe, flex, toe, flex. If you're flexible, go ahead to straight legs and reverse. Good. And grab the right leg with left hand. If your left, uh, left leg is up, opposite too, right? Bring down towards opposite side. So now you feel good to stretch on your hips, outer side, outer leg. Good. And back to the center. Now the lymph massage, two fingers behind your knee, press down, good. And keep that pressure and bend your knee and up. Yes, a lot of times like you feel gaining weight, a lot of times that's like liquid. So like menstruation period, right? Changes too. Even I, I have no more, you know, I'm a menopause, uh, but I do have those cycles still, like tend to retain more water than usual. I, every time it happens, I freak out, I got fat. But, you know, once that cycle is, you know, changed and back to draining um, cycle, then that's like, oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> so you don't, you might want to do those type of, uh, um, anyway, oh, I, sorry, I forgot to mention to you, you move your fingers up and pressing the bottom of the hamstrings. That's what I was doing. Good. Sorry about that. Good. And flex. Put your right hand from inside and open your leg. Ooh, you feel in the thigh, back side of the leg, all nicely stretched. Good. Back to the center. Extend your left leg and twist to keep your shoulders down. Good. You feel the obliques nicely stretched and your glute too. Good, back to the center, figure four, put your foot on the thigh, through the hole, bring your left leg in. So your right side of your glutes should be stretching nicely. Good, bring down, right foot, left leg up, hold. And pointing two, flex, two, flex, circle, and reverse, good. Now, I go ahead to stretch my right leg and cross. Stretch outside. Keep your both shoulders down. Good. And back to the center. Two fingers behind, right behind your kneecap. And find a good spot pressing there. Because this area is easy to get clogged. Yes, you better pay attention. If this area is getting really stiff or started getting, you know, growing like a little mount. That's the toxins you need to get rid of. And so this one might help. 
Good. And four fingers a little above, like about inch and a quarter ish, three centimeters. Pressing down the bottom of the hamstrings. Yeah, keep pressing even you feel pressure back. Good. All right, and flex. Put your left hand and open your leg. And if you're flexible, pushing up towards the head. Good. And you feel good stretch inside in the back on your leg. Back to the center, bend your knee and twist. This time, better to have a, the other leg straight. Keep the shoulders down. You feel good stretch here. Back to the center, figure four. Put your foot on the thigh through the hole, either straight leg or bend your knee, whatever works. Your hip. Good. Oh, yes, especially today. Good. <laughs> we worked hard on the booties and stretch, stretch, and flip over and back stretch and front side too. And you can stay here and you can still feel the stretch. All right. Good. Look and grab the ankles and lift your knees so your quads. Nice to be stretched and let's stretch the chest. Chest stretches, you know, always good. Keep your good posture, right? And now, child's pose. Nice, good. And open your knees as wide as you can. Open your toes to the side. And down to the elbows and push the hips towards back between your heels. You feel good stretch here. And then and inhale, exhale. Good. Exhale. Very good. And slowly back. Sit down. Put your right hand down and arms up and don't lift your hips keep that on the floor reach reach you feel good stretch on your obliques right and reach face down so you feel a little bit more back side good and the other side stretch from the armpits all the way to the hip feel good right we did some workout on the obliques so it's a really important stretch over here cross round your back stretch your back shoulders away from your face good drawing your navel good overhead chest stretch again and chins up so stretch your skin on your neck you know neck shows the age so if you can hide well, no, not hiding with the total neck, but if you can keep this area less wrinkles, you look younger. So put your hands both here and pull down the skin and stretch again, chins up, kissing the sky. Then wide open your mouth. E, ooh, e. Ooh, now you're working on your cheeks too. Yes. Gravity is 24-7. We have to go against once in a while. Yes. And keep kissing. And side, side. Good. Four, three, two, one. Down. All right, deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale everything. Oh, one more time. One more, one more. I forgot. I I wanted to do this every time, every class. So forearm stretch right here, hips up and down. So your fingertips facing towards your body and keep that flat and lowering your hips and your forearms nicely stretched. Good. Okay, one more deep breath. Inhale. 
Excellent. Thank you so much, everyone. All right.